What's up guys? It has been a long day. Tonight we're gonna make some cold brew. I love cold brew. We are making a local roaster named Shepherd's Crook. They're awesome. They're in Stratford, Missouri. Cold brew blend. I'm gonna go get my nowhere vessel and I'll show you guys how to do it. It's really, really easy. And tomorrow is a super busy day again for me. So I figured, hey, cold brew is a way to go. So let's make this up. Let's peel this baby open. I am so excited to try this, by the way. On our website, we have a recipe page and it calls for 35 grams. But I'm feeling like I probably need more tomorrow. So I'm gonna do like 42 and I'm gonna do it a coarse grind. So let's get it in a grinder and get it measured out. So I filled it to the top again. So we know that's 35. Oh, one little guy escaped. I found it. All right, so we know that's 35. Let's grind it up. This is really easy to grind, that's good. Do like seven more grams, which is not very much. Oh, we got it. Okay, seven more grams. So at 42. No air coffee system cold brewer. Okay. Dump it right into the no air vessel. Just like we always do. We are going to fill this up with water. First we have to put our gasket in and our filter and our lid. Okay, before we do this, I need to tell you guys one really important thing. This is what we call No Air Coffee System or NACS, N-A-C-S for short. Hacks. Before you seal your cold brew with a vacuum for the night, just take this little guy, soak him under hot tap water 30 to 60 seconds, and make sure that you have two washers on here. We'll always send you two washers in your cold brew kit, so make sure you have two washers, soak for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's nice and soaked. And let's go ahead and pour our filtered water into the no air cold brew system. And I'll show you guys just where to stop. And I'll really try not to spill. I'm probably gonna spill. Another tip, stop halfway through and give it a good like shake. Put your stopper on and pump it as much as you can. Well, don't break it. That is actually foam in cold brew. Crazy. We are gonna let this brew for nine hours and I just leave it on my countertop. Other people put it in the fridge, it's up to you. So that's what we do. I'll see you guys in the morning. So, remember last night we made cold brew with Shepherd's Crook. I got some ice in my cup. And here is the coffee. Stayed nice and tight all night. Pop the top off. Okay, so I let the ground settle for five minutes. very refreshing. It's very smooth and has no like stale taste to it. It's kind of fruity, which is really nice in the morning. I like it. I like it a lot. It's delicious. Anyways, shout out to Shepherd's Crook. Check them out. Definitely try the cold brew blend. It's super, super good. 
in the no air, there's no oxidation. It brews in nine hours, which is way less than 24 hours. So thanks guys and peace out.